so i visited my friend i think way back last week and uh i saw him trying to create a text wrap over an image or an object and what he was doing i was like ah maza maza what are you doing so i took the time to show him gather around and let's learn how to create a text wrap over an object or an image <music> So always make sure your background, the background of your object is what gotten rid of. So over here, the image I'm using, there's no background to it. So quickly, I'm going to make a selection of this image. To do that, hold your control key and click on this image this way. Good. So now we have a selection. What to do next is to what? We need to increase the selection. So it goes off the edges of the image or the object to do that go to select tab over here and click on modify and let's go to expand now we're going to expand this by let's say 70 percent sorry 70 pixels or let's do 60 pixels and you can see that currently we have the selection work gone off the edges for us this is okay this is perfectly okay now the next thing we are going to be doing is to create an inverse of this now the inverse that we are going to do we are going to create a double inverse so the first inverse and the second inverse now to do that first and second inverse there's a shortcut key to do that we're going to press what Control shift i to do that and we have what the double inverse created for us quickly i'm going to select my what, rectangle marquee too right good and i'm going to be drawing a line straight here right through to this side now before i'm able to do that make sure you come to the option panel over here and you know we we, we can we have these options over here so the first one is actually new selection and uh, this one is i think add to selection and this is subtract from selection and this is what intersect selection so select click on the intersect selection and with your marquee tool selected kindly come over here this way and draw a line based on how you want your, your text what to be wrapped around the image so i'm just going to you know have this this way and uh, li leave it this way so automatically you realize that the selection is no longer the image but what has taken over a new form now with this done we are not done yet what i need to do is to quickly create a new layer on top of the image layer come over to the tools panel with our, make sure your selection tool is still selected right click in the selection area over here right click on it and let's choose make work path so with my tolerance level it's set to two so i'm going to uh, maintain the two pixels and i'm going to click ok if you don't get anything just go according to what you see over here click on ok so the last but one thing to do is to come to your tools panel and select your type two and over here we just you know going to click inside the uh path that we made and make sure the your type two has a wall a rounded something over it and that means it's the perfect thing that you've done that means you've done the right thing if you don't have that rounded thing over it but you have this square then i'm sorry you have to redo it again okay so just click inside and any text you type within this space will be uh limited to the edge that we have over here so quickly i don't have any text so i'm just going to you know increase the size of this text by coming to my character panel and shape this to uh probably 10 10 should do and i'll be applying the dummy text to it so to apply a dummy text to this quickly come along with me to the type tab the type tab over here click on it and let's move straight to paste lorem ipsum ipsum <laughs> and uh we have this text field so i'm going to do that again and uh, there you have it so 
we finally gotten our text what wrapped over this image for us all right guys so this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial if you've learned something in here please go ahead and show some love by hitting on the like button like this video okay and uh, do all to check my other videos as well if you've not yet subscribed to the channel please uh what are you waiting for this is the time to subscribe and learn a lot of amazing things using adobe photoshop so until i come your way next time it is still black band solutions and as you know